I actually thought about neem oil 18 years ago. I actually found the receipt from the U.S. Uh, Postal Service that had mailed a sample to a company in the U.S. Neem oil and it was October 10th, 2007. And the company actually wanted a container of neem oil, but we couldn't get anybody in Ghana to supply. So that dream fell apart until five years ago, my nephew came to me and said, he and his friends wanted to do neem products. And I said, oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> I've thought about this before. I've always wanted to do this, so let's go ahead and do it. And that's how come we started um, Kingsworth. My name is Dr. James Corte. I'm the CEO of Kingsworth Farms. Kingsworth Farms is an eco-friendly organization that we are interested in reforestation, producing neem products, both for agriculture, cosmetics, and in the future, our pharmaceuticals. We're also interested in developing the communities around where we work. For example, we don't know of any organization where we plant the neem trees and when it's harvest time, it's open season for the whole community. Anybody can go and harvest. And when they harvest, all we ask is they bring us the seeds, we wait and we pay them. So it's a win-win situation. We see ourselves as educating the public to gradually go more into organic farming. Time catch out, ne eje be gwanga yo, ne cabbage jine ne mi epi opa. Ne start cabbage pe na wapeta si 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 jine ne, ne cabbage pe. Ai pe oka ada feto ni ne yu si e ni ba na no ina ka difference ne. Difference is pa because first feto ni ne yu si e normal pet ne ne yu si yo. No ko ka pe cabbage jono opo cabbage opo si e within two three days ne ne chope sa. But ni ba na organic fertilizer, we can use it within one week. Still, we strong. We have a normal fertilizer, local Ibana, and not using it. We have a different thing. The master classes, uh, our manager was the one who attended most of it, but it's been extremely beneficial to him because he didn't have any management exposure. Uh, he was mainly an agric person. So uh, it gave him the idea of how to create invoices on the computer, uh, send the invoices around. Um, even managing the staff. And I must say, uh, he's doing an excellent job of running the place, because uh, not only is he running the production of the neem oil and the neem fertilizer, we've also created a new line, making some neem shower gel from the neem oil, and he's running that too. So uh, I think it's been very beneficial. FM Blatskobia, me fibra, me okay, me yentus, and antrovana, moko. Bana fesino, nami su fertilizer for Freddy, my Germano. Media and coy, in two years in me, and a vena kiss to a fertilizer, dear my Germana, mamma no money in a day, a yakama, a month for to be a nede, a mamma, in ten a day, a yapa mamma. GCIC grant has helped us to one expand production. We are very thankful for that. And above all, it's also helped us with the solar system. And for a company which is based on being green, that was a godsend because um, even though our solar now maybe provides us with about 25, 30% of our energy, 
That was very expensive. We couldn't have done it now without your help. So that we're very, very grateful for that. The training you gave our manager, indispensable. Like I said, he never had any management training before that. So that has been very essential. And of course, all the equipment we got has increased our production by almost 50%. So we are able to do a whole lot more. From January 2017 to December 2024, the Ghana Climate Innovation Centre, GCIC, has hosted 26 national green roadshows supporting 196 green businesses, of which 121 are male-led and 75 female-led. These businesses have created over 31,000 new jobs, generated more than $62.4 million in cumulative revenue, and served over 30.2 million households with green goods and services. Additionally, we have sequestered over 3 million metric tons of carbon emissions, equivalent to planting approximately 49 million tree seedlings over 10 years and raised $42.6 million in additional capital.